Hello, everyone. How's it going? Hope you're all keeping well. Give me a second here, and we'll uh, jump into some Armored Core 6 yet again. Give me a sec. Oh boy! How's it going, everyone? Dave, good to see you. I'm unironically looking forward to more rust and decaying icon manufacture. Me too. Me too. Um, I think we might go back and play that last mission that we did last night. Um, or I got very confused by those enemies at the end. I feel like I'm struggling with these tank treads so far. I think I need to get better at moving with these treads. Uh, hey, what's up, excessive profanity? How's it going, man? Um, hold on a second here. Better do. That has to be an intentional Terminator reference, right? On the main menu when it comes in with those three notes. Then it changes, and it doesn't sound like the Terminator theme anymore. But those first three notes... Da-da-da... Ba-da-do... Ba-ba-ba-ba-ba... What do... I... Hey! And Cody, you fucking raided as well. Thanks, man. I, I didn't see the raid when it came in, but thank you. Welcome, anyone coming in. Hope you're all keeping well. Um, right, yeah, let's, let's continue here. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. I need to add the emote that Music Box made for me. She made uh, a head-banging dog emote. I need to add that. You'll be happy to know last time Dog went on to edit decals and paint jobs for three hours. Yeah, I've been spending uh, quite a bit of time. Um, although now we've changed the mech, so it's a little bit different. Um, do I even have the big balls logo on this? I wanted to put... I. I didn't want Big Balls to be my emblem. I wanted my rocket launchers to be named Big Balls. That each of them was a ball. They were both these big balls. Right? You know, because I'm going for these big brick shithouse mechs. Um, and I thought double rocket launchers just kind of fit my vibe. You know, big stupid meathead mech. That's all about power and nothing else. So I thought calling my rocket launchers the big balls would be a good idea. But then I found out that you cannot put, you cannot decorate your guns. You cannot put your own designs on the guns. And then that disappointed me. So then I just thought I would keep using the, the design, you know. I put, I spent all the time creating the big balls logo. And then I said, ah, oh, fuck it. I may as well keep using it. Um... Uh, Big balls, yeah, big balls are now just written there at the back. We got the fox emblem down there looking all dirtied. I, my, my favorite part of, of uh, the decorating so far is just these, these, these dirt options. They, they just they, they just look so good. They look so real and authentic. 
You know, look at that big black splotch on the Fox logo there. It's, uh, it's very satisfying. I love dirt and decay and rot and rust. There is beauty in it. Okay, so... Uh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? I think I'm going to go back and have a crack at that last mission. I was very confused by those invisible stealth enemies, teleporting enemies. I don't know what the fuck was going on with those things on the wall at the end. I thought they were coming from nowhere. And then when I realized they were coming from somewhere, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I was just driving around like a headless chicken, not knowing what to do with them. I didn't think I could even get my mech high enough to, to, you know, to reach the point where the lasers were coming from. That might have had something to do with the treads, because I just kind of got the feeling I wasn't able to go as high with these treads or something. I don't know. It didn't take too long in the end. I think it was just like 15 or 20 minutes, but it felt like an eternity. Um... Uh... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Another thing that confused me as well. We got, we just recently unlocked this tuning and I got the weapon bay and I thought when I added my rocket launchers to my shoulders that I would be able to fire them from my shoulders. So when I was pressing L1 and R1, I thought I was firing my, my rockets. It took me a while to realize, oh, wait, no, I'm actually swapping in my weapons. <laughs> I didn't realize you swapped you swapped them. Uh, I thought you could fire those things that you had on your shoulders. And then after a while, I was like, wait a second. Well, I'm pressing L1 and R1 here. It doesn't really feel like anything is happening. What the hell is happening here? Uh, okay. Maybe I'll buy some more here. We have a few points. Mbo. Well... Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying this game so far. I'm just really vibing with it. Just the, the slow-ass pace that we have going. Chilling in the menus for a bit. Doing a training mission here and there. I feel like the variety of the missions have been nice so far as well. And just the way you gradually unlock stuff. It's been a really... Uh, it's just had a really nice flow. Do a mission here and there, do a bit of customization, do a VR mission, take a look at some of the new systems as they unlock. It's been nice. Uh, I haven't been following uh, all of the lore exactly yet, but I've been I'm enjoying that too. I'm particularly enjoying the what seems to be like just the the complete immorality of it all are just like the the hopelessness the nihilism of the world maybe not the best word to use but you know like just the yeah just the brutal world I've been told that the earlier games are also similar people were saying yesterday that in one of the older armored core games you have to one of the missions is to murder a hundred million civilians you have to take down multiple planes, multiple, like, airships, and there's 20 million civilians in each of the ships. You know, and it's just completely cold, corporate murder. You know, you're just, a, again, you're just some kind of mercenary carrying out the will of some corporation. <laughs> um, let's see. It's filthy like that in Armored Core. Idealism is dead, dead, dead. But yeah, and uh, like uh, the environments with all the enormous, with all the brutalist architecture. Almost reminds me of... Um, something out of dread 
similar sort of cityscapes. Completely brutalized world without any hope. Oh, that mission isn't corporate at all. You get hired by a psycho to do it. Okay, okay. <laughs> Um, let's see. But yeah, I've been enjoying reading like the little descriptions for the weapons and learning about all the little different, learning about all the, the different corporations, you know, like the Fang with their stout trunk, slender branches philosophy and all that. It's, uh, I, I quite like all that stuff. Learning that some corporations are allied with others, and yeah, the uh, I quite like the lore so far. <clears throat> the turtles' music is gone from the battle hub, but now some other guitar shenanigans. Yeah, I uh, I don't have all those tracks that you have, Dave. I think you must have bought the deluxe edition or something, because I don't have all that music. I, oh god, yeah, no, the worst thing is, I realized that I unlocked the music player. I went back into the battle hub after you were talking about it. I was like, oh yeah, wait, I, now I can get into the music player. And I open it up, one track, the fucking Ninja Mer Turtles theme. The exact same theme that's already playing in the battle hub. That's the only track I have available to me. The one that's already playing and driving me insane. God, man. It's having the exact opposite effect, that advertising. It's like it's making me hate the, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You know, I'm, I, I'm, I'm almost going to go out of my way now to avoid all of their products, even if it looks good. Fuck that. Jesus Christ. I, I don't want to step foot in the battle. I love the Battle Hub vibe. This cozy jazz, uh, hip hop kind of beat, you know, just very chill, very chill, jazzy beats with nice piano and, uh, yeah, now it's like a children's hyperactive playground. <laughs> uh, let's see. Great game though. I really love Street Fighter 6. It's a good it's a good thing. The gameplay is as good as it is. But yeah. Uh, when is Aki releasing? When is she coming out? Yeah, you have to grind World Tour to unlock the music. I don't know. Aki is coming out at the end of the month. Okay, cool, cool. this game like Mech Warrior? I don't think so, really. Because I know Blad doesn't like this and he really likes Mech Warrior, but maybe there are some similarities. I would say it's comparable to Zone of the Enders. You know, just like fast-paced, pure action game. L old school levels with enemies and bosses and yeah, like it feels like a classic kind of action game at its core. To me, this game feels very old school. Like it feels like I'm playing a PS2 game almost. <clears throat> right, so what am I going to buy here? I really like chilling in these menus and not doing anything. It's one of my favorite things. Uh, X minus with the 70 months. Cheers. If you can give, if you can get me a good menu in a game where I'm just happy to chill and take things slow, you're on the right track. 
If you can get me a good menu to vibe with, a good prep menu. I could stay here all day. <laughs> Um, what do I want here? Weight control unlocks the ability to sortie when AC is overburdened. And to manually purge weapons. Oh. Purging weapons reduces weight load and improves speed. Uh, boost kick only costs one. Unlocks the ability to perform a boost kick. Boost kicks hit with heavy impact by combining the speed of an assault boost with the sheer weight of the AC. I... Can I kick with treads? Probably not, right? I can ram... But I can ram without the boost kick. I've already been ramming. But will this give me a better ram? This will give me another kind of ram. Ah, okay. Right, fuck it. We'll, uh, we'll pick this up. Uh, manual aiming. Where was that guy from yesterday? Does he know about this? Unlocks the ability to perform manual aiming. Allows to allows for manual reticle control. But practical usage calls for experienced technique. A, ooh, a quick turn. Quick turn. I'm a big fan of quick turns. Yes, give me that. We're uh, we're going full survival horror now. Is this the first AC game that has like a fully controllable camera? I think this is something we were talking about yesterday. I think the other games were more like, uh, you know, they had tank controls. Speaking of quick turns and cameras and uh, lock-ons and stuff. The, the, the last couple of ones had, had fully controllable camera. Maybe the ones before that were more... Uh, were more like tank control type thing. Ca a camera was free. It was just tied to your turn rate. Okay, okay. Improves the precision of ACS-based bracing posture control. Reducing damage received from enemy attacks. Damage mitigation. Yeah, I mean, that sounds pretty decent. Cool, okay. Got my monkey there, courtesy of Dave. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's. I think I'm going to go back to my thing here. Bye. Okay, nice. Uh, I feel like replaying this mission again. 
We're gonna replay this one. Some advice before you go, 621. Expect the unexpected. Main system, activating combat mode. Commence mission. Uh, hey. Bouse arsenal number two. Hey. Checking the perimeter. X minus. I don't think I thanked you for your uh, for your seventy, did I? Thank here. you. Wow. Did this series ever take place in our world? Was Earth ever a thing? How many people are still alive? It's is too it, quiet. Is everyone augmented? Four and four A did at least. Okay, okay, interesting. First AC happens on Earth as well. Okay. Deja vu. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to do this mission again. Just to take another look at these enemies. Yeah. Things are a bitch. Yeah, I think I saw it disappear there again for like a second. So even when they're standing still. And they're not teleporting, they they go into stealth mode. The investigation. This mission grew on me, but still it's not one of your favorites, Dave, no? I really like the environment. One thing that I was thinking about yesterday as well, one thing that, that kind of stood out to me was the amount of open space in the game. So far. I haven't really found too many secrets or items in the environment. And, uh... But at the same time, I kind of like all the space. I feel like it adds to the desolation of the world. You know, just with these enormous, brutalist structures. And I'm, I'm still kind of glad that it's there and that you can explore it. Because uh, I feel like it adds to the... Yeah, to the atmosphere and the isolation of it all. Maybe later on we will be able to find more stuff, more secrets. But the emptiness doesn't really bother me. I kind of, I kind of like it. I feel like it still services the world. You know, like all this here. There's not going to be anything down there if we look, but it's still cool. The atmosphere is very depressing to me. Corporations pillaging a world, war is constant. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's quite grim. So 
seems like the world has just been completely gutted by these corporations with little hope left. <laughs> and we're coldly working for these corporations without really knowing what we're doing, why we're doing it. Seems like we're fighting against the only people rebelling against them. Just like real life. <laughs> Uh, oh, I didn't. I don't think I found you the other day. The other day being yesterday. Oh, hey! Uh, boss guard's last words. Video record extracted from a wreck. It seems that a guard stationed at boss arsenal number two was shot dead by an unknown aggressor. You're just on edge, man. Boss supplies MTs to, to the off-world corpse too. No one would ever touch this arsenal. Gotta move as many units as we can to bankroll Elcano. That's the only way we Rubiconians stand up. What was that? The connections... Sure, it all worked out fine. Sure, he's okay. Boom. It's got you in its sights. Ah. It's gone. Six two one. I think there's more than one this time. Here's your scanner. Are your targets not to find their tricks? AP at fifty percent. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention to how these guys were working at all last time. Yeah, and when you see that sprinkle, that's that's your indication that they've teleported. Gone again. Oh! Except he's back in the same spot now. So it's not an indication that they're teleporting far away, but I guess most of the time that's the case. Oh, suck my balls. Are you dead? I don't think I killed him. I think he's gone again. AP at thirty percent. Unidentified machine. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, the scan as Keep well. And stay sharp. But I that was one thing I did. I uh, try many times in the fight yesterday, but I guess I just wasn't. I don't know. Maybe I was. Maybe I wasn't doing it at the right times. Uh, I did just get the quick turn upgrade. Um, except did I not add it? Hey, there it is. Ah, right, okay. This has to be a single quick tap. Right, okay, cool. Although it didn't happen there. Cool. 
Is that button press a direction instead of back? I, well, back is a direction. Yeah, I'm, I'm, push, I'm pushing down. Like that. Uh, yeah, I'm not pushing left or right. I'm just pushing down. Oh, you can quick turn to the sides. Oh, like that. Right, right, right. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I guess I was just uh, too survival horror brained there. I'm not sure if I've played any other kind of game that has another, uh, that has a different quick turn. Usually quick turns are just back. You know, 180 turns. I guess it's not just survival horror games that have them, like, uh... But yeah, that's what I mainly associate them with. Trying just the, uh... Okay. Okay, I remember we have a few more here as well. Let's do it. Still there. Well, so let's scanner show me. Ha. I'm really not good with these treads. These treads have made my life a lot harder. No, no, no. Wait for the recharge. Uh, I bet he's gone now, right? Identified mechs destroyed. Keep going, six two one. Yeah, I need to get that. Quick turn built into my muscle memory. Whoa. Now he's facing the other way.
Yeah, I think it all depends on the on the builds. I would, for me, I wouldn't say the game has been too difficult at all so far. We struggled a bit on the first boss. Took a few attempts. Uh, but, you know, knowledge is everything. Once you figure out the strat against that first boss, it becomes, you know, quite easy. Um, it can be really overwhelming at first, but once you realize where, where you, what you need to do to evade everything, it's not so bad. Then we had a bit of a brain fart here yesterday, but other than that, it's been pretty smooth. But, yeah, I'm sure we'll get to some tough bosses soon enough. <laughs> We're still on the first chapter. I think the next mission might be a bit of a tough one. We'll see. I think the next one is the the final mission of the first chapter. <clears throat> Coral response. 621. Get down and take a closer look. Uh, thank you very much, Undying. Why, I, I may change at some point, but hopefully it'll just be an improvement. Hopefully the change is just a, a bigger and better three dog. All right, let's drop down. Yeah, I just had no idea what was going on with the enemies on the walls. Just kill me, just kill me. Let's do this again. Jesus. I feel so handicapped by these treads, but I want to try and learn how to use them. I think maybe I was better off Is with the other battery pack. Get down and take the other generator. Look. Remember we bought that really expensive generator yesterday and I wasn't sure if it was the best option. I did finish this mission. I want to do it again. You can also get ranked for mission replays. Uh, I was having fun replaying some of the other missions off stream. Trying to get S rank. You know, because it, uh, you know, you have that extra incentive to really play the game well to get the high ranks. Minimal heals. Vain. Was hiding a well all Fast this play. Time. Uh, I was already on hard lock on, okay. Ah. So apparently there was like a scaffolding here that I could, like right here, is this what people were talking about the other day? Oh. 
Is that what people want? Is that the scaffold? People were talking about? One repair kit remaining. No repair kits remaining. Whoa, Jesus. Proper legs? No! You don't need anything. Why are these treads in the game? If I need legs. Yeah, okay, this is actually making me feel more justified in my confusion yesterday. Because even now that I know what the deal is, it's still fucking me up. Uh, let's restart from the checkpoint. Is that the coral response? 621, get down and take a closer look. Uh, oh yeah, now I have the shoulder missile. Jesus Christ, I wasn't you. I don't think I've used the, sh the, sh the shoulder missiles once so far. I guess in my, ever since switching to the rockets, even though I switched them back in my mind, I was like, okay, all I have are the shotguns now. <laughs> Must have been an underground vein. House was hiding away yeah, the the rockets will probably tear them tear them up. Got again. Fuck you. Right, so. How the fuck do I deal with these things? You there. How do I get up to you? Okay, you can just about make it up. Another dealt with. Stay focused, six two one. Two repair kits remaining. Oh, you're gone. <laughs> Right, if I use the, the scanner, then I can target them. I didn't think it would open up a long-range target. Oh, wow, okay. Now that's the strat. No repair kits remaining. I'm learning. Whoa! <laughs> Coming through, Aris fan coming through. One remaining, finish them off. Where is he? Get down here. Did he fly off.
How far does this thing go? Scan! Am I? Okay, he's gone again. Get him! Oh, no. Target! Okay. I keep uh, locking off by mistake, thinking I'm not hard locked on when I am. Seems that's the last of them. This wasn't a simple check in after all. Head back and rest up, 621. Okay. Rank D. I'll take it. We can improve on it. Please don't ever tell me what to do in caps. It's a fast way to get banned. And uh, also, please don't backseat in general. In general, unless I specifically ask. But backseating and in caps is just a terrible combo. Um, okay. Uh, that said, I am open to, like, general advice and stuff in this, but you might need to, you know, you kind of need to know. If I'm in the middle of a fight and I'm just trying to figure stuff out, you can probably ease up. I don't, I'm not looking for, I'm not looking for advice in those situations, you know, if I'm in the middle of a mission. But general stuff, you know, like, did you know that this was a thing, that you could do this? That this mechanic exists, or there's this, like, fundamental tutorial type thing that you might be missing, like, basic fundamental mechanical thing that you might... You might have missed, or... Yeah, that stuff is okay, but... When it comes to the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay in missions, I'm not really looking for advice. <clears throat> is this the new Souls game? Um... I want to slap you across the face, but I'll take your question in good faith. Uh, no, it's not. But it is a game made by From Software, Armored Core. It is they are they are returning to their old series. They haven't made an Armored Core game in like over ten years, so this is the first entry in a long, long time. But is but it is a series that doesn't really share that much in common with Souls, that much at all so far from what I've seen. Um, I think it has some difficult boss fights, so that might be a similarity, but the mechanics of those fights and how it all works, quite different. What role did um, Miyazaki have? I know the game was directed by the lead designer of Sekiro, right? What's his name? Yamamura? 
I think he was the he was the head honcho for this one. Chief Mech Sniffer. Uh, hold on. Boo -do -do. Let me go and look at my thing here. Yeah, this is the... This is the generator we went with in the end. Chat, what do you think? What generator do you think I'm better off with? See, this one, this one up here has really good energy recharge. 2,000. This one only is 714. But this one has really high energy supply efficiency. I'm not sure which which I should be wanting more. I'd say bigger generator for now, the bigger one being this one. This big boy one. This one was really expensive. I think I spent like 400k on this one. It supplies more raw power than any other corporate product on the market. Okay, how about we play the next main mission? We can sell stuff as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I made quite a bit of money at just replaying missions. Trying to get a couple of S ranks. I might just try and hold on to everything that I have. Not sure if I'll sell stuff. You know, we'll collect everything. FromSoft did make a Gundam Unicorn game a few years ago. This is also published by the owners of Gundam. So it may have some Gundam mechs as DLC. Okay, I, yeah, I am not into uh, mech stuff at all, really. Um, yeah, I don't know anything about Gundam. Or, you know, like, I don't really, uh... Yeah. Gundam. Gundam. It's pronounced Gundam. See, that's how much of a noob I am when it comes to mech stuff. I can't even pronounce the most famous mech series. Is Gundam the most fa famous mech series? <laughs> I hope it is. Okay. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, no, I like mechs. But yeah, I just... Uh, I never got like big into them or anything like that. But like I'm enjoying the mechs in this. As you can tell. Uh, I'm a Metal Gear fan. Uh, right, let's uh, jump into the next mission, shall we? Well... Uh, I've done all the training missions, yeah. Part of me feels like switching back to the double rockets instead of the double shotguns. Especially now that I know that it, like loads of people are using double shotguns and it's like a meta thing in PvP. 
it's making them way less cool. But it still just fits my build as well at the same time, you know? I'll stick with them for now. Have I done all the arena missions? I have. Uh, the ones that are available to me, only three. We absolutely tore through all three of those. They were no match for the double shotguns. Didn't even need to think about it. Maybe I do want to go for double rockets. Just I feel like double rockets fits the aesthetic more. With the big bulky tank, two big slow ass rocket launchers. Yeah, I'm going back to the double rockets. Look at that. Look at that. Crazy amount of options you have here. Uh, I like that design, but I think I might also just like a plainer version. Just I kind of like the plain rust look. I like that one as well. 14 looks kind of pixelated. Feel like that fits with our look. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Very nice. I'm liking that, I think. Got that bit of orange in there. Pixelated retro kind of feel. Pretty nice. I, uh, I'm not playing MGS for an entire month. DRK is doing a subathon, um, which may go up until the end of the month. And if it does, I'll be doing the five day marathon with DRK as a part of the month long subathon. DRK will be playing by himself up until the end of the month, assuming he reaches all his goals and the, and the marathon continues to run all month. And then, yeah, we'll just be doing our marathon as usual at the very end of it, which I will be taking part in. And I would, you know, we would be doing that regardless of whether there was a subathon or not. Um, okay. Yeah, apparently he's getting some uh, some other guests on as well. I'm not, I'm not really sure uh, what 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 he's doing exactly. 
But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll host him up later on. I think he's taking a break now. He's sleeping. I'll probably do my own subathon at some point in the future as well. Maybe a few months from now. I was thinking of doing something crazy like that. Probably mix it up with a load of other games. Do some MGS stuff, horror stuff, Silent Hill. Maybe do like MGS marathons and, and Silent Hill marathons all in the one subathon. Something crazy like that. We could, we could uh, yeah, I'll probably think about it for a while come up with something. Spookathon. <clears throat> okay. Let's jump in. Attack the watch point, Northern Bellius. This concludes chapter one. Destroy infrastructure. Eliminate the SG squad and the watch point and destroy the device in the control center at the heart of the complex. This is a rather personal request from a friend of mine. It concerns a certain facility, a watch point. Once, it regulated the underground flow of coral. Now, it serves to monitor the dormant veins. I want you to attack it. Your objective will be to destroy the sensor valve at its core. The watch point is kept secure by SG, the planetside PCA force. Which means it's too hot for the corporations to be seen there. In other words, we're flying strictly solo on this one. Okay. Um, hold on. Let me just listen to the start of that again. This is a rather personal request from a friend of mine. It concerns a certain facility, a watch point. Once, it regulated the underground flow of coral. Now, it serves to monitor the dormant veins. I want you to attack it. Right, okay. Your objective will be to destroy the sensor valve at its core. The watch point is kept secure by SG, the planetside PCA force. Which means it's too hot for the corporations to be seen there. In other words, we're flying strictly so I'm not sure if we've heard of this PCA force so far. Is this the cops? Let's do it. You'll be going in under cover of darkness. Be ready for anything. I bet I'm going to regret not bringing the shotguns. Can I interview you during the subathon? Sure, yeah, maybe I'll do a Q&A type thing. We'll see. It's go time, 621. Don't worry. Not even the PCA would anticipate a solo independent mercenary. Get in there and get to work. Main system. Activating combat mode. Okay. Cool. I want to see if I can land in the water. Can't go too far back though. Uh, 
Uh, I'm specifically curious about your take on this game. I've seen it played a couple of times, but I don't... I get the game. Um, I wouldn't say there's that much to get, really, in terms of, like, the the, the core of, of the game. It's a mech action game. Uh, to me, it feels very old school. It almost feels like something straight out of the PS2 era. Um, you know, you go into missions... You uh, uh, with your mech that you customize, you have a lot of control over how you customize your mech. Whether he's a fast, agile, agile boy with skinny limbs, or a big fat piece of shit with treads and double rocket launchers, like myself. So yeah, you get to make the kind of mech you want to make, which determines how the game plays. You have a lot of freedom in that. Um, aesthetically as well, people. That, that's one thing that people really like about these games is like the the aesthetic customization you have over your mech um you know with paint with all the different paint job options and decals and you can even upload your own images uh online you know like i have the i have the fox logo somewhere on on mine you see it there um one thing i i've really enjoyed about the visual customization so far is the, uh, all the decay and dirt options that you have. I really like rust and decay and filth and all that nasty shit. So I really like the options that I have to make my mech as dirty and ugly as possible. Um, so yeah, that's a cool element. But yeah, then when it gets into the missions, it's just like a very old school classic kind of action game. No bullshit. Just straight in. You have like normal enemy mobs, big boss fights. Um... And a sort of typically obtuse, from soft kind of story, um, where you really need to pay attention and piece things together yourself. Um, yeah, it's set in a like a very cold, brutal world, where that just seems completely hopeless. Been taken over by these corporations. We play as a mercenary. Who's just take who, who are t we're taking on contracts from all these various corporations? We seem to be mainly so far slaughtering the only people that are trying to rebel against the powers of the, uh, of this world. So yeah, it's a very grim uh, story. But I think a lot of people will play the game and they just won't even pay attention to the story because that's generally how FromSoft games are. It's very easy to ignore uh, the story if you want. To just play for the gameplay. Uh, it's kind of like Souls. But yeah, that's uh, that's how I would explain the game. Old school action mech game. Where you go in to do missions and fight enemies and fight bosses. And learn how to control your mech and improve and customize. You know, there's, there are lots of little mechanics. Uh, you, you'll unlock VR mission tutorials as you play through the game, which will just teach you more and more about the mechanics of the game. Boom. Uh, whoa! I'm not looking at my bar again. Oh, fuck you. I'm really struggling to uh, control this thing. I'm really struggling to control and really struggling to manage my meter. Let's, let's try and pay more attention to it. Hold. Oh. Jesus. Quick turn. I, I wasn't hard locked on. AP at thirty percent. Uh, 
Uh, this is my first time playing this level. Yep. I don't know. I really want to play as a lump of shit, but... I feel like I've been so handicapped ever since picking these treads. I'm going to try and stick with it, though. I'll, I'll learn, maybe. Admiring the scenery. Okay, okay, okay. It's pretty rough when you uh, run out of your meter with this tank. You grind to a halt. Uh, right, let's restart. Main system. Oh yeah, the kick! I still need to try out the kick. Forgetting about my rockets again. Code 7 8, requesting backup. Uh, I can't get through the HQ. Cavalry isn't coming. Wipe them out in 6 2 1. Bottle up, 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 up. Tomato juice with the 51 months, thank you. Finish him with those rockets. Beautiful. And we run out of our energy again. We're not paying attention. This is your favorite mission in the game? Yeah. Did I not take them all out? This thing seems like we. Ah, hello. Confirmed. Enemy squad destroyed. Move on to the next area. This is nice wheelchair gameplay. I know. I feel like an Aris fan. But I'll, I'll get the hang of it eventually. 
It's it's really tricky moving these treads around. It was so much easier before when I had the the legs. Look at this. The fact that I'm all rusty and battered looking makes it even better. Uh, thank you for the 23 months. You did not miss any boss. I can't believe you spoiled the boss. I never would have expected that there'd be a boss at the end of the first chapter. Where did that AC come from? What happened to the patrol squad? Code 1 All units deployed for combat. They're exposed to snipers from all quarters. Keep moving or they'll shoot you down. Fuck you. Boom! <laughs> Whoa, shit! Where's, where's the rest of them? I think I'm overkilling a lot of these guys. Okay. Uh, I can do the full boost and quick turn and... Yeah. I really like these environments. Someone who used to review games for websites, it's a bit more complicated. You aren't given enough time to pay. You have to rush games? What are we talking about here? Game reviews, IGN. I, uh, I, I never... Uh, I never read reviews from these sites. Last time I used to regularly read game reviews was when I was a kid uh, buying magazines. Once the internet age kicked into gear, I stopped completely and I would just... Yeah, I just found out about games on Twitch, you know? I'd watch other people play and that's how I found out about games, just from my circle. Watching streams, talking to people. Watching, um, you know, YouTubers, creators. <clears throat> I just followed the journalists I like f from the magazine area. Yeah, yeah, that, that makes sense. You know, if you found a journalist that you uh, that resonated with you, continue to follow them.
Okay, let's keep going forward here, shall we? Look at this. What a vibe. Coming down here? You fighting down here? Okay, I'm locked on. Oh no, the rockets. How am I gonna. <laughs> I can't use these fucking treads, man. I need to get my legs back. <laughs> Poor disabled mech. Um, We're six one nine and six two zero. Dead. Which one's Oh, I'm so slow and heavy and immobile. Look at this thing. Remaining. Whoa. I. Turn around! I asked you to quick turn. He's so fast and I'm so slow. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> um, I think I need to relearn how to drift properly. And maybe I'll go back to switch out for shotguns. Oh, I don't know if I want to fight this guy with rockets when he's like going to be dodging half of them. I feel like he... Uh, I don't know. The target's inside. Make your way in. Attacking oh! The they, that's You're a nice the little detail. They slightly alter the cutscenes depending how you enter the cutscene. Last time when I was driving up the road, the scene began and my mech was just driving up the road. But because I landed on the road from the air, it actually landed from the air in the scene. That's nice. <clears throat> oh, you feel sorry for me. I've, I already dealt more damage in this attempt. Oh my god, I don't... I, my movement is absolute chaos. You're all talk, huh? I'm just gonna eat all your shit.
I'm, I'm just trying to get get my stagger to decrease. Oh, did he get health back? You're at point blank range there. I was able to fight him like a big stupid lump of shit. Exactly what we're going for. Just sit around, take the damage, wait a thousand years for your rockets to recharge and just keep mindlessly bashing on him with the rockets. That's the tank way. That's what we're, that's what we're doing. Uh, by the way, on NG Plus, does the difficulty change? Does it scale? No, it doesn't. It does. Just new missions. HP plus damage scales. Torian is making shit up. Okay, Torian. You're getting, uh... Most people are disagreeing with you here, so I'm assuming they're right and you're wrong. <clears throat> uh, let's cruise around here. Let me in. <laughs> Supply. Supplies replenished. Beautiful. Still just... Alright, so I can do that as well. That's like a, a circular movement. Okay. Still just learning the basics how to control this fucking thing.
And the body turned... I didn't want the body to turn around like that. Oh, he does that automatically. Then I can still quickly go up that way. Okay. Yeah, that's an automatic thing. Doesn't really make a difference, though. sound. I don't think we're done here. Wait, no. 621, get out of there. Hey, Storm. How's it going? Type of augmented human, fourth generation. Have we made contact? I am Air, a Rubiconian. Please, you must wake up. I think we're gonna fight. Before your consciousness is forever scattered in the coral flow. Oh, okay, cool. Here we go. Damn, what an atmosphere, man. I love this setting. Whoa! Heat signature. A base of action, Raven. 
Oh, Jesus. Okay, uh, we did pretty decent there for, you know, given that I was just mashing, more or less. <clears throat> Main system, reactivating combat mode. I, uh, learn how to dodge a couple of these moves and we'll be good. Okay, now this fucking shit. Suck my balls. Oh, I'm glad I missed that. Whoa, shit. Oh, fuck. Okay. Okay, decent, decent. I'm still just learning the basics of how to dodge the attacks. Ah. Same attack twice in a row here.
Ua! Got him. <clears throat> Enemy systems down. It's silent. Yeah, I think I had a pretty good build for that because I really didn't feel... Uh, I barely had to learn the fight, you know? I felt like I didn't even really learn the fight, and I still beat it. Just, just fucking smashed on it. Just hammered on it. But first, a warning. The coral surge you were swept up in. That was just a glimpse. Look at that chonker. Ooh. A premonition of the storm of flame that will burn Rubicon. <clears throat> cool. Two hundred and sixty-three thousand nine hundred and forty-two. That was still fun though. I had fun just hammering away. Same with the other boss. I'm, uh, I was able to do more or less the same thing. I didn't really need to learn the fight that much. I could just, I could just hammer on them. The double rockets and those missiles. And with the second boss, yeah, I just, just stuck to regular boost dodging. For some of those missile spams and so yeah just stayed away from it stayed at long range seemed to be viable didn't need to get close seems like i uh, had a pretty good build for that fight <clears throat> some people in chat there were saying this took them like two sessions and a whole redesign yeah, it seems like, you know, the builds are important. One person will be able to come in with the with the build and they'll just be lucky that their build suits the fight well. I think that's probably what happened with me there, you know, or, you know, comparatively speaking. I don't think it was that I was, uh, like, playing all that much better. It's just my build really suited the fight. I was able to... I was able to take a really simple approach and just spam the shit out of it while staying at range, doing normal dodges. <clears throat> Builds make f fights play super differently. It's cool to see. Depends on the fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, it felt suitable, you know, that I'm playing as this big tanky piece of shit. With these gigantic launchers, it feels right that that's how I would beat the fight, I think, you know? <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here and fucking hammer on you. With my slow-ass dodges. And, you know, I'm barely mobile. <laughs> This fight took two redesigns, days of learning, went through two divorces. That's what it takes sometimes. A friend of mine sent me this observational data. Look, 621. The localized coral explosion caused by the surge has a certain directionality. It's headed straight for the central ice field. Across the Aliyan Ocean. Like a flock of birds or a school of fish, Coral loves company. Which means... Somewhere in 
That's a common side effect of old gen augmentation. Could also be from getting caught in that coral surge. Don't let it bother you. Raven. The coral explosion completely vaporized Northwestern Belius's Bay Area. And even yet, compared to the fires of Ibis, that explosion was hardly a spark. Raven, I have a favor to ask. Let me remain in contact with you until we reach the Coral Convergence. I have to see where they're taking us. How this struggle over the Coral ends. I must, as a Rubiconian. Capital C contact. Fuck yeah. Augmented We're back. human C4621 entering standard mode. Two new messages. Six two one. I've got some business to attend to. I need to hawk some intel to the corpse and secure a backer for our trip to the ice field. One job for you while I'm out. Rest up. That's an order. Raven. I see your handler is away on business for now. About that trip to the ice field, we've received a job from Balaam already. Let's take a look, shall we? Registration number RB23, call sign Raven. Your records have been updated. E rank virtual encounters are now available in the this arena. music kicking in. We invite you to hone your technique. Data registry updated. Arena. New mercenary data added to the arena. New parts are available for purchase. Okay. Has the menu music changed now? Is the menu music getting a little bit funkier? Nice. I'm vibing with this game so far, for sure. That's a, that's a nice shift. Cool. Look at this big boy. You did well there. Mr. Big Balls. In that last mission. Thought things were going to be harder at first when we had that fail to the boss that first time when I barely damaged him. But then we made a swift comeback. Okay. <clears throat> Please don't go Gatling build. I'll do whatever the fuck I want. Um, and a Gatling build sounds pretty good. Doesn't it? Doesn't that Gatling build? Doesn't that Gatling gun suit my boy there? I think it suits him very well. Look at that. Of course it does. We're all about big, beefy weapons. Rocket launchers. Gatling guns. You know, that just that just looks good, doesn't it? That just fits the aesthetic. <laughs> okay. Also, hey, Vlad, by the way. If you're still there. How's it going? Don't think I said hi. Um, gun even has its own ball sack. Uh... 
Okay, so we have new things in the arena, huh? We might take a look at these next. Game is my new fetish. <laughs> okay, what new launchers do we have? Oh, baby. Songbirds. Compact double barreled grenade cannon developed by Melanite. New corporation? I think this is the first we've heard of Melanite. Commissioned for medium weight ACs. Its compact size reduces reduces its explosive power, but the double-barreled format makes strides toward resolving the issue. This sounds cool. The Giga Grenade Launcher. Ten-cell missile launcher developed by Furlong Dynamics. Missiles track targets and explode on hit, contributing greatly to buildup of ACS strain. Oversized model for heavyweight builds, capable of multi-lock. This sounds like my kind of thing. Now the multi-lock. Oh, Jesus. That's also pretty tasty, though. Yeah. Oh, nice split missile launcher. Launcher for eight-way split missiles, developed by Furlong Dynamics. Missiles split before contact and surround target with homing sub-missiles, suited for aggressive solo tactics against one or multiple targets. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I really like the, that they've changed the, the menu music. We're getting just a little bit groovier. Um, yeah, I don't know what I want. I think I'm going to go for this. Pulse Buckler. This is going to be another shield. Developed by Takagawa Harmonics. Features a relatively long initial guard duration and reliably cancels out enemy fire. However, reduced output during regular guarding hinders sustained defense potential. shield developed by Archibus, used by the Vespers. This shield boasts excellent damage mitigation, has a window of heightened output immediately after deploying the shield that is capable of cancelling out incoming fire. Yeah, I don't think shields are going to be our, our thing. We could just get, we could buy another one of these things for our left shoulder. But I'm thinking maybe we go for this one.
Aha, uh -huh. maybe I should have gotten two of these. Maybe I shouldn't have. Oh, wait, no, no. This is the one that I have currently equipped anyway. Right, I haven't equipped the new one, have I? Yeah, that was the one that I bought. Okay, right. I thought so. Let's stick that on. Uh, suited for aggressive solo tactics against one or multiple targets. Yeah, I think I'm going to get this one. <laughs> 218k left. My mech looks cool. Thank you. He's a big lump of shit. Big chonker tank. Double rocket launchers. Okay. Ooh. Can we get it? A new headpiece? These two are new, I think. Expanded head part developed by Schneider. This model further improves on stability, but with a higher energy burden, resulting in excellent performance in aerial combat. Lightweight head part developed by Elcano in keeping with Elcano's roots in producing and forging steel. This model exhibits craftsman-like flair, being light while while providing reliable defenses. I'm thinking of putting uh, just like paint blotches all over my mech. Like just uh, th those black goopy blotches all over the place randomly. Just to make it, yeah, just to see how that looks. I think I'm okay with my current headpiece for now. Ooh, these are uh, interesting. Revised arm parts developed by the Feng Core Industries. This model attempts to further refine the Feng's stout tree slender branches philosophy by enhancing the durability of the armor plating around the shoulders. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I think we're going to be all about the Feng Core Industries with our build. No new treads. I'm not even seeing the booster. Where? Where is the booster? How do I see it on my tank? Um... Booster developed by Boss for an old generation AC. 
an early AC model, it marked an attempt to faithfully represent core theory. And so its booster specs were tweaked for melee performance. Such was the trend. Uh, can I download your Foxhound decal somehow? It's just a regular Fox uh, logo. Uh, but yeah, I'm, uh, I, uh, someone gave me a code for it. Maybe they still have it. Does anyone still have that code? I can't remember what the code was. Someone gave it to me. Uh, maybe I can actually, maybe I can look up the code now that I have it as well. Booster specialized for long distance cruising developed by Schneider. Maximizes assault, boost, thrust, and energy efficiency to provide excellent performance when rapidly closing in on a target from long range. Um, crust easy with the seven months. Thank you. Uh, yeah, if you go to my day one VOD where I was playing this game, you're probably able to find it easily enough by looking at the chat. If you just fast forward to when I first started customizing my mech. It'll, you, you'll probably be able to get it handily enough. Um, now. Do I want either of these? I wouldn't mind one of these. Increase my medium range assist for missiles. FCS for assault operations developed by Balaam. Taking lessons from the Jupiter War, Balaam improved the missile performance of their FCS products, leading to the creation of this long cellar with excellent overall balance. would I want this one over this one? This one is way cheaper, and what does this one give me that this one doesn't give me? I guess like a slightly better balance between close and medium. Doesn't seem worth it, really. Uh, oh, I already have that one. Is that the same one? Wait, no, no, that that's a different one. Wait, did I not have any booster equipped? Wait, what? Oh, yeah, no, the fucking tanks already come with boosters. You can't add boosters, can you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Tank type legs use internal boosters. Someone probably mentioned that earlier. Okay, okay, okay. So now I think we're gonna... We are going to... Do some painting. Uh, 
I want pitch black versions of all these. Um, oh, yeah, okay, okay, hold up, hold up. Oh, man, this is going to be sexy. Watch this. boy we're just gonna we're gonna make black versions of all these and we're gonna splash them all over the mech but what and then in the next mission i'm gonna unlock another pair of tank treads but that's okay we'll have all of this stuff prepared and next time we do it we'll be able to easily blotch it up again, right? Because we'll, you know, we're doing all the work here. I mean, it might still take a while, but it's going to be worth it. Uh, what was that one? Three. Four. Wait, 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 wait. Oh man, this is going to be the filthiest shit that you've ever seen. It's going to look great. Okay, this will this will do for now. We'll we'll add these. I can just place that one down, right? Okay. Yes, nice and filthy. I don't think I'm going to be able to make this as filthy as I want it to be. 
I'm sure I could maybe if I uploaded some images. I just don't think I'm going to have enough slots to really do this justice. Very nice. That's a nice, lovely bit of felt there. Another one. Another little line here. Yeah. Oh, that's that's stroke of genius there. Now, some black blobs. Gotta be careful with these black blobs, though. You know, you don't want... You don't want too many of them. One up there. There we go. Mix it up with that. Not sure if I like that circle there, actually. Well, no, we can put it there and then just... I don't want anything to look copy-pasted, you know? It needs to look authentic. Yeah. Discard all the fucking edits? Are you serious? I thought that would just discard that one fucking edit. Oh no! Can I undo this? <laughs> Sorry, chat. <laughs> Oh, no, I can't undo it. Oh, God. Build a metal gear instead? No. I'm trying to think of another way to answer the question. No, I'm, I'm building what I want to build. But just throw away my entire fucking philosophy. It's like you're asking me, dog, change your life, maybe? Move to another country? Like that, that's, that's how it feels on a lesser scale. Slightly lesser scale, but that's how it feels. Dog, just go and do some other thing completely, maybe? Uh, no, we're making a big lump of shit, fucking rusty brick shithouse mech that's all rusted and covered in shit with big rocket launchers, and that's the fucking vibe we're going for. Uh, 
I, and I don't even know what you mean. Like, do you want me to create something that looks like Metal Gear Rex, Metal Gear Ray? I don't think I even have the parts to make something that looks like a Metal, you know, looks like a Metal Gear. Uh, ah, Jesus Christ. I'm going to have to do all this shit again. Fuck, man. Jesus. That was a masterpiece. Okay. Sorry, you're going to have to watch me do this again. I hope I hope it's at least enjoyable for some of you. This is very uh This might be a niche genre, but this is also a niche kind of stream on top of that. We're layering niches on top of one another here. Uh Okay, yeah, I like that. You know, we're just gonna have to make a whole different kind of art piece. Where does this go? These little circles are... They, these little circles need to be very precise. No, I don't think I like that. Stop asking me to delete. Delete selection. Oh, and multiple selection. I did that by mistake, okay. Wait. We're getting somewhere again. It was better before. There we go, that's better. Ah, nah, I've lost, I've lost some of my inspiration. This is, what is this? This is a load of shit. Look at that. Well, there's no, there's no character in that at all. Just fucking, it's too even. It's like, you know, it's like a square, a square of black blotches. Terrible. Uh, hold on. We need to bring that down. We need to make this shit fucking messier. It needs... There, there we go, there we go. Okay, now we're getting somewhere again. Bring that further down. That's more like it. Uh, bring that down there as well. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, much better. Still, still missing something though. Uh, you know what we need to do? We need to go back and add more here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine.
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, this, this, this is what we need. This, this is the inspiration we need. Uh... You know, let's let's get a few white blotches. Yeah, fuck. Maybe we'll get some. Maybe we'll mix it up. Maybe we won't just go for the the completely black look. Uh. Okay. There we go. Oh man, this is gonna be so good when it's finished. Uh, hmm, not sure how I feel about these ones. Might be a bit much. This, this one though, look at this. Very nice, very smudgy. Maybe this one as well, N nah. Uh, this one I like a lot. It looks like smudgy, dirty fingerprints. I think I like the white version of that. Let's just darken it up a bit. Uh, where the fuck am I going? Okay, okay, we'll go back and we'll add some of these. Cum stains, yeah, they kind of reminds me of the, the end of MGS4 a little bit with all the cum stains that splash all over the screen. All the expository cum stains. I'm just scrolling up in the chat here just to see what I missed. Okay. Now. Let's get back to it. I get 40 in total. I don't know about the white. Nah, I'm not feeling that right now. I think having the consistency would be nice, you know, so it looks like oil or something, like one specific. You know, so you can kind of. Yeah, so it all just seems real what is the white stain you know am I trying to camouflage myself as a wreck I just want my mech to be old and battered and worn that has nothing to do with camouflage Blood Sense, thank you very much for the raid. Oh 
Yeah, I can also minimize them as well. I forgot about that. Oh, yes. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I'm feeling this top left section. How's AC going? I'm enjoying it, Blood Sense. Right now, I'm just carefully covering my mech with shit here. with uh, oil stains and I just wanted to look right ooh maybe that could look good here Bellew. Have you finished this game, Blood Sense? I think you were playing it a while back. Yeah, I can put those there. Then they kind of look less conspicuous. Twenty-four. Wait, what? A maximum amount? Maximum number of images reached. It says 24 out of 40. What? Yeah. What kind of build do I have right now? Big lump of shit build. Uh, heavy tank treads, double rocket launchers. Top right. Oh, 20 out of 20. Right. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, well, I think I'm I think I'm kind of happy with that. I'm not really happy with it, but I guess I'll put up with it. Um uh... Yeah, I mean, it looks messy. It looks dirty. Music, visuals, and combat are fantastic. The story to me was kind of eh. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not really sure how to feel about about the story. I feel like I'm missing a lot. You know, it's typical from very obtuse. I feel like there there have been a few pieces of dialogue that have just kind of flown past me, which might gain, uh, which might mean more to me on repeat playthroughs. You know, lots of uh, ambiguity and stuff that you really need to think about. Um, but I, I, I'm really liking the world of the game. If that uh, also counts towards story, I don't know. But um, yeah, I quite like the, the, the world and some of the world building and just how hopeless the world is. Uh, the sort of the immorality of what we're doing you know it just seems like a world that's been like Dave said earlier that's just been completely ripped of any kind of idealism it's just been completely 
seems to be completely seems to have been completely gutted by these corporations. We're going in as this cold mercenary, coldly disposing of these. Uh, you know, we've mainly been just slaughtering these rebels so far. They seem to be like the only people standing up against the the systems of this world, and we're here carrying out the corporation's will for the most part. So yeah, I quite like how I quite like the bleak world. And how the atmosphere ties into that, you know, the brutalist architecture and everything. It's very grim. But yeah, I've definitely been vibing with it overall. It's making me want to go back and check out the, the older Armored Core games already. <coughs> uh, are, is NG Plus a common thing in the older games? How do I feel about the PCA? I don't know nearly enough about the PCA. I, I, I'm, I'm hanging on for dear life trying to understand what's happening. I'm just soaking it in, you know? I'm probably not going to think too hard about it all in my first playthrough. I'll just try and grab the, the bare essentials. That's, that's the impression I got. That's what I said earlier when they were mentioned. They kind of sounded like the space cops, right? Because even the corporations weren't allowed to fuck with them. That's why, you know, he said, our handler said something along those lines. That we need to go in here because the PCA won't be expecting a, a no-name mercenary. That not even the corporations will, will fuck with them. And I was kind of, okay, so these are kind of like the, the cops. Um, right. Sorry, I just want to change this. Maybe I'll put this up here. I'm sorry, chat. The filth must be perfect. I think I'm happy with that. Nah, those, those two are too identical next to each other. So that needs to change. Can't look copy-pasted. Can't look copy pasted. Okay, that's better, I think. Can't wait to toss all of this aside now when I get my next upgrade.
Okay. I think we're ready to check out the next mission, the first mission of Chapter 2. I added all my new stuff, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, I like how that looks. Um, of course, we could also add some filth to all the other parts. But let's do another mission. Uh, oh, wait. No, 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 no. Arena. Nozak, 26E. Yeah, let's fight these guys first. Thank you, Valkuma. A bitter promise. An independent mercenary who snuck onto Rubicon hoping to get rich quick. Taking advantage of the chaos brought about by the extra by the uh, extraplanetary corporation's forays. Under Nozak's economic theory, the funds of others are but extensions of his own resources. Thus he continues to take on debt with no intention of repayment. As in his eyes, the money was his anyway. This does have the benefit of allowing him to buy the latest in corporate technology as soon as it hits the market. He considers the power of his AC an asset to his credit score. Sounds like a nice chap. Let's take him on. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program number 26, entering rank E. Subject AC, Bitter Promise. Call sign, Nozark. Commencing evaluation. Main I'm system, activating combat mode. I'm not sure if these are simulation simulation data or actual pilots. Well, one of the early ones that we fought, I noticed, was one of the guys that we took out in one of the previous missions. Which which confused me a little bit. So maybe they are simulations. I remember I did one mission and then right after I think I think I unlocked the arena right after. And one of the first guys was the guy that I killed in the previous mission. Yeah, it's sim data. Yeah, that's, uh, that makes sense then. Uh, look at this guy. I'm just going to sit here. Fuck you. Target destroyed. Concluding evaluation. Well done. Yeah, I've been hearing uh, that people have been having lots of fun with the PvP. Thirty one seconds, forty three K. And a new emblem. Now this guy. Oh, another V6. Or is this the same guy that we were fighting before? Sixth squad leader of the Vespers, the Archibus Group's augmented human squad. Mm, 
Materlink is a product of Generation 8, which was held to have advanced the process to the point of rendering all previous generations obsolete, bringing about a new age of augmentation. Unfailingly loyal to Archibus, she has a reliable track record in the field, and her conduct during missions has established her as a risk-averse problem solver. Let's how let's see how she solves the problem of these uh, jewel rockets. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program Number Twenty Five Rank E. Subject AC Infection. Call sign B Six Mater Link. Commencing evaluation. Main system activating combat mode. What are you going to do? Uh, oh! Right, I'm going to die. I don't have any heals. I thought I'd be able to just sit there because I assumed I had heals. I don't think I had heals anyway. Okay, maybe we'll actually try and dodge this time. Yeah, no heals. Oh yeah, more chips. Nice. Uh, little Z. 24E. A warrior of the, Rubic of the Rubicon Liberation Front. As an infant, Z was taken to Rubicon by her parents who, tempted by the promise of riches from coral mining, sought to make an illegal entry to the planet. Only Z survived the crash landing. She came under the guardianship of Uncle, Fl Uncle Flatwell of the Rubicon Liberation Front. And the core of an AC was the young orphan's cradle as she grew up to become a coral warrior. Is the assumption that all of these people are now dead? Uh, 
I'm kind of, I'm getting the impression that all of these are all of these are dead. No, no, they're not. Okay. I thought maybe that was the only way we could have like this virtual data. You know, like we're yeah. Okay. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number 24, rank E. Oh, she's the one I killed in the, uh, Subject in the countdown mission. UAU. Call sign, little Z -Y. Right, 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 right. Commencing evaluation. Main system, activating combat mode. <laughs> okay. Annihilated. Target destroyed. Concluding evaluation. Well done. Now, our last one, I think. Swinburne. Seventh squad leader of the Vespers, the Archivist Group's augmented human squad. Swinburne is a product of Generation 7, the first to receive experimental augmentation using coral substitution technology. This granted him enhanced aptitude as a pilot without the usual complications, but with no obvious indication of either efficacy or potential side effects. Swinburne's fears and doubts turned into an overpowering paranoia, the final jewel to crown his odious personality. <laughs> I like that uh, description at the end. Because he was the first to receive the experimental augmentation. I mean, maybe it's not because of that. This was that this granted him enhanced aptitude as a pilot without the usual complications. Now, at first I was uh, interpreting that as like a continuation of the previous paragraph, like that led to that. That was the reason why it, he had, uh, that was the reason why he had the enhanced aptitude without the usual complications. With no obvious indication of either efficacy or potential side effects. Okay, let's take him on. <clears throat> Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number 23, rank E, final evaluation. Subject AC, guidance, call sign V7 Swinburne. Oh, cool emblem. The fucking lobotomy needle.
I love how his problem is that there was no problem. Yeah, I like that as well. I want to try the kick. I still haven't tried the kick. Get down from there. I think he's gonna kill me. Come on, let's pull it. Oh, we got him. Target destroyed. This concludes E rank evaluation. Well done. Oh, is the bitrate struggling with some of these effects? I love that emblem. Really cool. Almost looks like a guitar pick, a plectrum. Congratulations, you have surpassed rank E. We are glad to oversee your development as a mercenary. All Mind exists for all mercenaries. Weight control. Unlocks core expansion, terminal armor. and allows it to be installed. Terminal armor automatically triggers a pulse barrier when the AC's AP reaches its limit, greatly enhancing defense until the barrier reaches its durability or time limit. Uh, this sounds good.
Hey Shinryu, I'm doing good. I'm really enjoying this game. Unlocks core expansion pulse armor and allows it to be installed. Pulse armor creates a pulse barrier that trails the AC, dramatically increasing defensive performance until it exceeds its durability or time limit. So I start every mission with a shield behind me, protecting my back. Is that right? Pulse protection allows it to be installed. Pulse protection creates a pulse barrier in a fixed position. Are you activated with L3 and triangle? Ah, okay. Oh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I didn't even notice the controls there. Right, yeah. Assault armor creates a pulse explosion centered on the AC, cancelling out incoming enemy fire and creating a damaging area of effect shockwave. That sounds fun. So I guess you could only have one of these equipped considering they all require L3 plus triangle to activate mm. I'm gonna buy this armor I think Salt armor's cool. Battle Right here, yeah. Oh, right, so this is okay. I have to make a choice between these two as well. Terminal armor seems pretty good. When it says trail the AC, does that mean that I can only survive hits from behind? Like is it or does it does it does it cover my whole body? That's the way it says trail. It's making me think it's like just protecting my back. It just means if it follows you, right, okay. Covers the whole body, right, okay. I, I thought that that was that would make more sense. Guess we'll see it in action.
Uh, let's take another look in the shop. I kind of feel like splashing out on these new arms. Striking simplicity with the five dollars. Thanks for the detailed answers about the game. You made AC much more interesting to watch. I'm off for tonight. Hey, man, my pleasure. Um, and I'm glad you enjoyed watching it, especially when it's, you know, it's it is niche. And uh, especially this kind of stream, you know, where I'm just taking things very slow, painting my mech with shit. Just chilling in these menus. Um, I'm glad you enjoy it. Thank you for the five dollars. Cheers, man. Yeah. I can't say no to these arms. Will I be able to equip them or will I be too heavy? Let's see. We good? Nice. <laughs> What a machine. What an absolute beast. Absolute beast of a thing. Let's take a look. Chapter 2, Infiltrate Grid 086. Western Bellius, Grid 086. Reach destination. Infil infiltrate Grid 086 and reach the center. Extra rewards based on number of enemies destroyed. Here's the request from Balaam Industries. They want you to carry out an advanced survey of the central ice field. To confirm the information Walter brought to them about the coral convergence. As for how to cross the Aulian Ocean. This is the intercontinental cargo launcher installed on the upper level of grid 086. You could use it to launch your AC to the ice field. Grid 086 is occupied by the Dozers, outlaws who treat coral like a drug. It's also the territory of a belligerent group of arms dealers who call themselves RAD. Be prepared for a perilous journey. I'll be here to support you, Raven. Interesting. Rad with their recycling logo. Uh, I know you from Metal Gear. Why are you playing this? I don't even know how I would a go about answering that question. What a question. What, like, what a narrow-minded... Like, I know you from Metal Gear, so you only play Metal Gear? Like, that's, like, the implication? Why are you playing this? I know you 
from this. I've only seen you play this. You play other games? How, like, what? Where do I even? How do I? How do I? How am I expected to answer that question? Um. Yeah, I play uh, other games. <laughs> Uh, it might be shocking to hear. I play other games on this channel. I've been doing it for uh, many, many years now. And uh, yeah, I'm playing this game because uh, I was interested in it. Uh, I enjoy many of FromSoft's other games. Their Souls series, I'm a big fan of. Uh, streamed hundreds of hours of those games as well here on this channel. Um, probably thousands. And I've always been meaning to check out their older Armored Core games as well, but never got round to it. So I'm finally getting round to it with this new release. <clears throat> Uh, let's uh, jump into this mission, shall we? I did a full Bloodborne run last year, I think. Was it? I think it was last year. Was it last year? I took a big break from Bloodborne. I took like a three-year break from Bloodborne because I wanted to. I wanted it to feel fresh uh, when I went back to it, and it felt really good going back to it. And I think it was last year when we went back to it. Uh, hold on a second here. Battle of Battle up. Battle Let's do it. Oh, up. I'm fairly adept at analyzing systems and manipulating them too. Commencing infiltration to grade zero H six. Gorgeous. Main system activating combat mode. Uh, as a From Software Games fan, would you recommend this game so far? I, I'm going to translate that as a Souls fan, uh, which is probably correct. I, and uh, I don't know. I don't know. This is quite different to Souls. So if you're going in expecting this game to feel like a Souls game, you'll be disappointed. This. Uh, it's an armored core game. Um, but it'll have some, ch it'll have hard challenges, you know, uh, like, like souls. Uh, from what I hear, some of the bosses get pretty hard, but I think that will also depend on your build. You have a lot of freedom with how you customize your mech in this. You know, you can play as a super fast, agile mech with quick guns and assault rifles and stuff, or you can play as a big lump of shit like I am. I've sent you the marker data. Big tank with treads. The elevator going to the upper level. Big tank with treads and dual rocket launchers. Big beefy thing. Um, so, you know, I think the difficulty will sometimes depend on your, on your uh, build. 
One person might completely struggle with the boss for hours because they have one build and then another person might even not have to think about the boss because they can just tear through it with the very particular kind of build they have. I think that's what happened with me on that last boss. Uh, someone was asking me, I think, as well, what I thought of the last boss and uh, someone jokingly responded, Dog didn't really think about it at all. Uh, yeah, because I, I beat it in like a, two attempts, I think. And it didn't really take much thought. I was able to just sit back and hammer on him with my rocket launchers. Um, and missiles with some basic dodges. And it didn't really take much to take down. But apparently for other people, it took like multiple sessions to take down. And they had to think and rebuild their whole mech to do it. Um, but yeah, it's hard to say. I, I, I couldn't say no, because you like Souls, you will like this, because this doesn't really feel like Souls. Um, but you might still like it. It's old school. It feels like a real throwback to me. It feels like something straight out of the PS2 era, but with m modern visuals. Um, and I quite like that about it. focuses a lot on customization. It has a mission structure kind of thing. You know, it's not like you're always just in the world like you are in Souls. You, you're, you're, it's like it has like an old school level structure, mission structure. You have lots and lots of invisible walls and stuff. Um, customization is cool. Yeah, and the Visually, you have a lot of control over how you want your mech to look. I've spent a lot of time covering my mech with shit. Making them look all roughed up and worn. I wish we had more parts. I'm sure I'll be getting more parts as we play. You know, we've been consistently unlocking more parts. I have no idea how many there are in total, but... Oh, Jesus. Ah, uh, whoop! Fuck you. Oh, yes. Uh, Death Bloom, hello. Respect the Chonker build. Yeah, it just felt uh, it's just what I felt like going with. I'm happy with my decision so far. The treads have been a bit of a pain. I'm really struggling to utilize the treads properly, but that's okay. Hello there. Oh my god. Hey, I fought the virtual you a bit ago, I think. This is the real you. You talk.
Uh, I tried to do the quick turn. Jesus. Okay, Cinder Carla. I've gathered data on the woman from that broadcast. That was Carla, leader of RAD, a formidable dozer faction. She joined them three years ago, bringing with her a crew of junk wizards and hackers. Within half a year, she ceased total control and greatly expanded their operations. Hello there. Oh, sick. Anyone else down here? I heard someone down here, no? Oh! How dare you. Seconds. AC still falls under Souls War. That is, sounds fucking insane to me, man. What about this is Souls War? That sounds like such an insane fucking take. Wait, 
What? Dude, wake up. It's a shit game. So now we're... Wait, what? We're talking about whether it's a good or bad game now? What does... What does... What does that have to do with it? What the hell are we talking about here? Damn, I didn't expect so much, uh... Uh, heatedness when it comes to this game. People, uh, people are really love to be getting uh, angry about this game. People really love coming in and they just can't wait to uh, tell people who don't give a shit how much they dislike the game. Um, anyway, now that that guy is gone, it was the, the other, it was another guy who was, who was saying this still falls under souls like, man, I, I really don't think so because it has like hard bosses and it has from soft storytelling. So many of from soft's games, uh, have a similar style of storytelling, like even Kuon, their survival horror, has themes that you'll see in Dark Souls and everything like that. You know? Like, do you see elements of... of their souls design in this, sure, but like, oof, to go as far as say this is like an another souls game just seems ridiculous. The whole structure of the game, the style of combat, the mech combat. Isn't, isn't the exploration, like, a huge part of Souls? Like, the way you navigate through the world. The approach to the world. The, yeah. The levels and the world. That seems like such a fundamental part of Souls that's just completely absent in this game. This game does not have Souls exploration. You know, this game has compartmentalized levels, like an old school kind of mission structure. You go into the levels and you're here to beat the shit out of enemies. You're not really, you know, you're not exploring a world like you do in Souls. And the combat and movement and everything functions completely differently. Apart from the similarities that, that it would have with, like, all fucking combat systems. That so many other games would also share other than Souls. Maybe I shouldn't even be acknowledging this fucking... This, uh... Take. I don't know. It seems kind of... Just, just seems kind of fucking ridiculous. Demon Souls was compartmentalized to an extent, right? But then you got in there and it still felt like a fucking Souls level that felt nothing like this. You know, you don't ex you don't really you don't explore these environments. You go in fucking quickly hunting for for uh, enemies. Right? I'm not going down here to pick up a li pick up some armor. And then I'm not going into the menu to look at the armor and switch things out. There's not a fucking NPC over here that I can interact with and talk to. You know, it's like the level design approach and exploration just feels completely different. Like when you're when you're when you're exploring through a level in this, you feel like it feels similar to Souls. How? 
venturing through this level is remotely comparable to venturing through a level in a Souls game? There's enemies and there's bosses. Oh, there's a sense of scale and grand vistas. Yeah, that's uh, you could say that. It has some visual similarities with the with the big with the epic scale. That would be a that would be a decent point. Still though, the way it feels to traverse through the level and the things that you're doing while you're exploring these levels. I wouldn't even call it exploring. You don't explore the fucking maps in this. Just because of the story? Well, then every fucking FromSoft game ever made is a Souls-like. If you think they started that storytelling with Miyazaki and Demon Souls, go look at some of their older stuff. I think it's just the FromSofts, like, people see, a, like, a style. It's just a recognizable style, you know? It's like calling every fucking Scorsese movie a Goodfellas-like, you know? I don't know. So I'm just catching up with the chat here. <laughs> Both games do have lock on. Okay, let's fucking continue here. Let's go down here and see if we can meet an NPC to talk to or find some hidden dungeon. You know, maybe there's an invisible bridge over here. I think if I walk off the edge here, it'll be an invisible bridge that'll take me over there. I wonder where I'm supposed to go in this world. You know, we can explore. See all those places up there? We'll be going there later in the game. We might even be able to get up there now. There might be a little path over here. Uh, what the fuck are you doing? Okay. Wonder we might find patches in this level. He might be at the end of this long hall here. Oh no, an invisible wall. We can't go down there. Fucking straight out of souls. I haven't found any mimic chests yet. Ah! Oh, nice.
Maybe I should be going to that map marker. Maybe that's trying to tell me where to go. But that wouldn't be very Miyazaki-esque. Must be some secret path here somewhere. What was the first From game to have the Moonlight Greatsword? Was it Kingsfield or some shit? Kingsfield was the first one. Taking the view here. I'm not sure if I went down here. Oh, wait. Right, okay. It seems like I am going to have to go around. Wait, hold on. Can I? No. <laughs> mm. I was probably on the right track before. Or maybe we can just go around the corner here. Oh, it seems like we can. Okay.
actually an item. Actually an item in a box. HC 3000 Wrecker. Okay, it's a Souls like. We found a chest with an item. First one in the game. What in depth level design? When are we going to wrap around to Firelink Shrine? Is this the equivalent of coming out of Undead Berg? Maybe there are going to be mimics. Maybe I need to start shooting them now when I see them from now on. <laughs> hey, maybe there are mini mech uh, mimic chests. We'll see. Ironically, this probably is the first map we've played in the game that does have more of a, an exploratory kind of feel. Light overkill. Cool. That's where I came through before. Hello. Fuck you. We're safe. We're not safe. Basically a mimic. lot one second
What if Armored Core is in the same universe as Dark Souls, just on another planet? What if I stick my dick up your ass? How about that? I guess I didn't have a lot of rockets. Yeah, I'm, I'm not used to... Usually I don't have to care about my uh, ammo count. Because right? the levels have been so short. But this one is basically Lord Ren. Uh, I feel like going over here. I tried to kick him. Fuck you. I think that was the kick. Oh. Yeah, I cannot remember the last time I had so many complainers streaming a new game. Picking up multiple entities. Try carefully. I, I was, it's, it's surprising. See how I get on without my missiles. I'm a 
assuming I'll get a refill on that uh, checkpoint. Yeah, you took your loss well. Let's see what she has up her sleeve. Shall we, Raven? No repair kits remaining. Is there a weight limit? There's a there there are loads of weight limits and stats and yeah. Big giant page of confusing stats. I was turning around, just as I was turning around, I saw that thing come to life. Am I safe? Okay, I think it was just a door opening. I didn't know though. there. There we go. Seems like the floating approach will work well here. Just stay hovering. My god, he still has a lot of health left though.
Oh. mirror on the wall who is the biggest lump of shit of all oh okay let's try this again two big blocks of shit I was reading the chat. I want to get a good start. Fucking chaos. Whoa, shit. Nice. Oh no, that was close. Just out of range. This is a fun boss. I'm liking this one. I keep letting the stagger die down though. We need to keep the pressure up. Fuck you! I, I wasn't even... I haven't been hard locked on this whole time. Wow! Okay, you coming? Oh! 
Why I was staying so close. Uh, get on the ground so you can get your shit back. I tried to do the quick turn. I didn't even see what hit me at the end. Oh, we were so close to clinching it there. Fuck. Oh, god damn it. I wonder, can I... Maybe I can shoot inside of it from up top there. Oh no, what am I doing? I can't even tell if that's doing extra shit. Felt like I was doing a lot of dagger.
Yeah, 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 yeah. I wasn't uh, locked on properly there. Go, yeah, 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 yeah. She's, I wasn't even listening to the dialogue before. She talks about the weakness. Okay, I just think I need to get higher. I really need to be elevated. Uh, oh, yeah, and I can switch the targeting. I thought it was taking a bit long to chip her down. Oh. What? What? Good old fashioned camera, boss. Fuck you. No, I'm being greedy. Oh, please. AP at thirty percent. Suck my balls. I'd get up before it swung. We gotta use our boost. Get shoot it properly. Uh, heal. 
I'm probably fucked. I have no heals left. Wow. Come on, come on. No, I'm losing the bar. What's going on? Okay, we're good. And no. Come on, just keep the pressure up. I'm. Maybe I should be going up and... I don't know. Woo! Suck my balls. Come on, come on, yes! Okay, I'm looking... I'm looking forward to uh, doing that fight again. I think only at the end I was realizing, you know, when I was doing my quick boost to get up to her. Repeatedly, I, I stopped too late. You know, I need to stop in advance. So I'm right above it. That was fun. I did see all the flaming balls coming out of that thing, yes. And I figured it was unwise to be going up into its face while it was doing that. Uh, but I still did it anyway a couple of times. Was that not even the... Was that not the intended strat? To shoot things inside its fucking furnace? I figured that was the, the main weak spot. It seemed like I was really building up its stagger gauge by doing that. It felt like that was the fastest way of building up the stagger gauge. Was it not? It is. There's two. One in, one in front and one above. Is there a second furnace? I noticed two targeting spots. The one which just felt like the front regular body part and then there was the furnace up top. So it felt like you used the fur you stick rockets and missiles in the furnace to build up the stagger gauge, and then once you build up the stagger gauge, focus on the other tar on the other part. Yeah, at first I was just focusing on the front part because I wasn't even really I was noticing the other furnace part when I was flying over it, but I just yeah I just. Uh... Didn't really think about it too much. And then I thought, after a couple of attempts, that maybe I should try and stick some rockets in there instead. Yeah, when I staggered it, I, 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 I think I even mentioned that at the end. The last time I staggered it. Um, 
I was thinking maybe when I stagger it, I should still go up and fire in its uh, in its furnace. And yeah, I guess that's what I am supposed to do. Weird that it uh, it has that other. You know, I wonder, do you have any, is there any reason to target its other point? I mean, I guess that's just there for when you're backing off and you want to take it slower and chip it down a little bit. That was a fun fight, though. I felt like, uh... That felt like the first, the first real challenge we've had with a boss. Apart from the tutorial boss. That was pretty fun. Uh, HC3000 Wrecker obtained head part. Core. Bipedal. Raven, we've received a job from RAD's leader, Karma. This could just be another one of her traps. But after the impression you left on her last time, I think it's unlikely. Let's take a look at the briefing. Uh, I'm really enjoying the game so far on Dying Yam. Yeah, it's, uh, it's great. It's a lot of fun. Uh, let's take a look at some of these parts, shall we? Look at this big beast. I'm not sure if it's said if there's any more stuff in the shop. I don't think there is. Ooh, I don't remember this being here before, though. Look at this drill. Pile bunker developed by Balaam. This weapon uh, gores the target with a massive steel pile, obliterating it through sheer physical force. Charge to prime the firing hammer, enabling attacks that are enhanced by explosive damage. Stake driver, yeah. Thank you very much for your 67 months and your 45 in a row. I'm not sure if I thanked you for that earlier. Cheers, troops. Uh... That's a cool little thing. She want a better bazooka, the javelin? Is that available to me? 
Uh, I was thinking of trying out the, the Gatling guns. That kind of fits our aesthetic as well, I think. Oh, it's in assembly. I already have it. Oh, shit. This thing? Oh, wait, no, no, this thing. Right, I only have one of them. Special bazooka developed by All Mine creates a chain of explosions on contact that layer on impact damage. Compared to standard explosive weapons, this weapon has notably high direct hit damage. Pretty cool. Yeah, we could equip that. Okay, um, I might call it here for this evening. Let me see. Or maybe one more mission. Boot up, bop, bop, bottle Uh, can I name the Armored Core? Can we give him a name? Can we give him an official name? I'm the fool. I'm the pilot. In AC Data. Okay. Um. Oh, that's actually my older one. That's this guy. I, I'll overwrite this guy. And now we're going to have to rename him. Okay, he is officially Brick Shithouse. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if we ever see the name pop up in game. Eliminate the Dozer faction. Western Bellius, Grid 086. Eliminate an enemy squads. Eliminate the Junker Coyotes, a Dozer faction invading Grid 086. Extra awards based on number of enemies destroyed. Let's take a look. Ah, 
my favorite little tourist. About my promise to take you up top. I need a little help cleaning up first. You see, a certain someone smashed up all my defense hardware. And now I've got rival dozers muscling in. It's the Junker Coyotes. You never did get on. Always sniffing around and snapping at our heels. <sighs> They're dull company, tourist. One thing, though. They're using RADMTs, hot from the black market. They might be a pack of dumb animals, but at least they know quality workmanship. Anyway, you know the score. You made this mess, now you get to clean it up. Well, technically, I'm asking you to make a whole new mess. Ah, whatever. You know what to do. Now get out there. Hey, how's it going, Music Box? Let's do it. Your handler didn't authorize this sort of either. But we shouldn't miss this chance. I'll support you. Main system activating combat mode. Let's get okay. rolling, tourist. Get out there and back me some coyotes. Uh, oh, we're we're back in the hangar where we fought the guy, I think. Now that we have found chests here, feels more uh, worthwhile to actually look for our little secrets. I'm having a good day. I'm enjoying this game. I'm having a lot of fun with this. I'll probably wrap up after this mission. Music. Hey, we got an AC. Never seen one like that before. Must have got a sweet deal from Carla. Send in the punchers and kickers. Oh, hello. Yeah, we need to add that emote that Music Box made. It's uh, it's 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 the dog dog emote, but he's head banging. It's a little animated emote. Look, fella, we got company. Huh, and an eight dumbass running. That one of RAD's newbies. Hold on, sky high. This one is on you for taking out Rodney. 
Jesus Christ. I'm not going to make it over there. Turn back. Turn back. Oof. I... How am I going to approach this? Over here. Yeah, I was just saying, I, uh, I still need to uh, add it. I'll do that soon. Uh, oh, that was the mission. Wow. Quick one. Yeah, I've enjoyed the the pace of the miss the mission so far, Dave. Um right. I think I'll stop here. Yes. I'm going to stop here. Chat, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. It was fun doing a bit more Armored Core. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. At a certain point, I'll probably take a few days off. Um, although maybe I'll try and still play for a while because my dad is coming to visit on the 10th. And I'll be away for a few days with him. So maybe I'll try and keep streaming for the next few days we'll see uh yeah guys thanks for watching it was fun i'll see you soon take it easy everyone i'll host up uh, drk i'm not sure if he's back from his sleep yet um but regardless whether he, whether he is or not i'll uh host him up he's doing a big ass subathon i'll see you soon everyone take it easy <laughs>